Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about several modifications that you should not do to your 4L. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, let's talk wheels and tires. I see this all the time, and this might not even only pertain just to Mustangs, but cars in general. If you're getting aftermarket wheels, guys, get some that have good fitment and get some that are the size that look best on the car. I don't understand why people will get aftermarket wheels that are stock sizes. Is it just because that they're trying to save money that way? Because then they don't have to buy tires, they just reuse the stock ones? It's crazy. Now guys, to go along with that, let's go on the other side here. Don't mind the boo-boo, that is getting taken care of shortly. But let's talk about fitment. So since we're talking about wheels, look at that. That is about as perfect a fitment as you're gonna get. I'm a big fan of getting wheels that fit properly. I'm not a big spacer guy. Now, yes, they can be done safely if you use like hub-centric and whatnot, but I'm a fan of just get the wheels that fit the right way so that way you don't have to add space, you don't have to worry about your lug nuts getting loose, any of those issues. Just do it right the first time and you're gonna be super happy. And plus, most of the times you're gonna get more concave, which you guys can see there, we'll zoom in a little bit. Even on the S197s where it's difficult to get that sort of concave, it does look super, super good. So yeah, just do your research and make sure you get the proper sizes. Now, an all-time favorite, badges. We've all seen V6s and GTs put on Cobra badges. That is stupid. I don't care how much feedback I get or people say that's dumb. Yes, I get it, it's your car, do whatever you want. But guys, what does up badging do? If you want a cleaner look, debadge. There is nothing wrong with debadging your car because you're not faking it like it's something that's not. If you're putting on a Cobra or a GT badge on a car that is not a Cobra or a GT, it's fake, it's a fraud, it's, it's just stupid. And no, it doesn't look cool. You're just trying to fake people that don't know about it because it boosts your ego. When in reality, you have tiny PP energy. So stop doing that, it looks goofy. So we're in the car now. Another one I see all the time. Stickers don't add horsepower. I know everyone believes that that's the case, but stop doing it. Stop sticker bombing, especially your interior. Like, I guess if you're doing it for an aesthetics, okay, fine, but it's kind of cheesy. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Just save your money. All those stickers that cost a dollar and you have a hundred of them, guess what? You have a hundred bucks. You could have probably took your wife out to a nice dinner or something, or you could have bought, I don't know, like a dub, double din radio or something. A lot of better things to do. Save your money, don't do the stickers. Uh, on top of that, throttle body spacers. Oh yeah, that's, I don't even need to talk more on that. Stop buying stupid performance stuff. Like a throttle body spacer's not gonna make any difference, save your money. And another one in the engine bay, wire loom baby. Because we all know that red, blue, or orange wire loom immediately end, adds like 150 horsepower. Like your V6 just became a GT, if you didn't know that. So yeah, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, any of those, get the brightest color wire loom you can and you're gonna make a lot of power. Coyotes will be shaking in their boots. So yeah, there you go, pro tip. Last but not least, my favorite one that I've seen, and I'll put a clip up of it. The vacuum line to make your car sound like it's canned. <laughs> I'm not gonna go too heavy on that tangent. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Guys, if you wanna cam your car, get a real cam switch for the four O's. I don't think they really sell any cams at shop or get a Coyote and get a ghost cam tune or get a three valve and do cams, get any car and do it the right way. Ghost cams are fine, but pulling off a vacuum line to make your car sound like it's cammed yet you can't even drive it like that. It'll drive like dog water, stupid. So yeah, there's my rant guys. Those are like five to seven things that you really shouldn't do to your car and why I recommend not doing, not wasting your money on those parts because they're all dumb. And that's just my opinion. Maybe you guys think I'm dumb. That's fine. If you think so, hit that thumbs down button. But yeah, guys, short little video today. That's what I think. Hopefully if this video helps you in some way or another, hit that like button. But nonetheless, I'll catch you guys in Friday's upload. Peace out guys.